Hi everyone, welcome to BI Land. Today we are going to see how to effectively compare a value in different time periods or date ranges. This is a must know in BI. To my experience, we are always facing these kinds of requirements like in finance. So stay with me and let's do it. In our previous video, we saw how to calculate percentage change comparing two selected years and we had year column in our fact table. Now the requirement is a bit different. In our fact table, we have a column named department study date. Each line in this table is a case and each case has been studied on a specific date. Therefore, one of the measures in our report is the number of cases studied on a specific date. And the manager wants to have the possibility to select different time ranges to compare this number. We have already a calendar in our model, which is connected to department study date. If you don't know how to create this calendar, please watch our video on Power BI for Beginners. Basically, this calendar is taking minimum and maximum of the department date column in our fact table and generates a calendar. Okay, for our report, the measure that we are going to use is a simple count. I right click here, new measure. number of cases is equal to count back table I can choose any column I'm going to choose your column okay this is our measure First of all, we want to see how many cases each department has studied. We have a department column in our fact table. Five departments. And simply, I want to see how many cases for each department. Now let's add date slicer. I go to calendar, I choose date, I want a slicer. This is an option, by default it makes me a date hierarchy, but I don't want that for now, I only want dates, so I come here and I choose only date. And I want dates to be between. So now by default I see the slicer is showing me all the dates from the beginning up to the end if i want to see only 2019 i can move this along or also choose uh, from the calendar here i choose the end on 2019. now we have the number of cases each department studied for this year to be able to have the second selection so that we compare to another period of time we need to create second calendar which is equal to this calendar but with inactive relationship with the fact table let's do that so to create my second calendar table I'm only going to go here and and then new table I'm going to call it calendar comparison and it's going to be calendar. So I only choose the calendar and my calendar comparison is exactly equal to the calendar. Now let's make the relationship. I have the calendar comparison here I'm going to make the same relationship date with department date 
but this time I'm going to change in the properties to to an inactive relationship. Now this relationship is inactive and I have the possibility to use it when I want by calling it in the measure. Okay, let's bring it to the slicer. Date, slicer. I don't want like this, I don't want hierarchy. I want only date for now. And I want to show it between. Now I have my comparison date. To make it more clear here, I'm going to move this here, this one here. This one is called comparison date. And this one is called date. For now, this one doesn't have any impact on the table, on the data, because the relationship is inactive. Now let's create the measure to use this comparison date also. For that, I'm going to right click, new measure. Let's call this number of cases comparison. I'm going to use calculate. Basically, we are using calculate to pass a filter into our expression. So here I'm calculating number of cases, a measure that I already have, but this time I'm going to use use relationship as a filter for this calculation. Use relationship enables me to use a relationship that is not active. Use relationship wants me two columns. They are the columns that the relationship is based on. First is going to be calendar comparison. And the second one is going to be fact table and department study date. I need to pass the second filter in this calculation why because right now when i'm calculating this expression this number of cases it is also looking at the filter that is coming from the calendar but i don't want the filter coming from the calendar to be considered here i need to clear out the filters coming from the calendar for that, we can use all function. We have seen all function in our previous video. Here we are going to use remove filters. Remove filters is doing the same thing as all function here. We are going to remove filters coming from calendar. Now this calculation is calculating number of cases, but based on this calendar, comparison calendar, and not the calendar. We are using use relationship to activate the relationship between comparison date, and we are using remove filters to clear filters coming from the calendar slicer. Now, if I bring this measure in my table, I see that I'm going to I'm going to make it thousands separator. Now, number of cases here in first column is coming from the current selection, is coming from the current calendar, which is 2019. And the comparison one is another selection. The measure number of cases showing me the cases that each department has studied in this time period. And the comparison one is the number of cases each department has studied in this time period. We can actually test 
if our comparison calculation is working well for that we can make this date range equal to this date range and logically in that case both numbers should be the same so if i make this 2019 end of 2019 i see that both numbers are the same so our comparison calculation is working correctly as usual let's polish a little bit our items here first i'm going to make this come first i'm going to take out this then i'm going to a little bit increase the size the same for this one header I'm gonna make it a bit bold and I'm going to make the color font color this one items a bit larger that's all I need I can use format painter to make the same improvements on this one and here I want to have uh, column headers a bit larger I want also values a bit larger I want to have the gray to be dark blue and also probably it's better to have column headers with bold and I'm going to do field formatting for comparison I want an alignment center apply to header and total and I want the same for cases alignment center apply to header total and we can also have total another color and probably we can make this one also bold Now we are able to compare two selected date ranges. If I change this to 2020, we can even have from 2000, beginning of the 2020, 1st January. And now I am able to compare the number of cases in two different time periods. Okay. What do you think of this method? Do you use other methods for such requirements? Write down in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button or share it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss the coming videos. Until then, take care.